I can still remember the first time I saw Elvis on TV. It was instantly clear why he would go on to be crowned the king of rock and roll. But just as quickly as he'd taken the world by storm, Elvis had passed away. Years after his untimely death, rumors began to surface. The king was still alive, living down in Mexico with Jim Morrison and Janis Joplin. Recently, I read a poll that stated almost 10% of Americans believe Elvis is still alive. When I heard that, I started thinking about another king, not the king of rock and roll, but the king of kings. In the book of Acts, Luke writes about the 40 days Christ spent with his disciples after the resurrection. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. One of my favorite stories from this time takes place on the Emmaus Road. Two believers were discussing the crucifixion as they traveled from Jerusalem to a small village. Along their way, a mysterious stranger joined them. This traveler entered into their discussion using the scriptures and prophets to explain everything that had happened to Jesus. When they reached the village, the men asked the stranger to share a meal with them. But as they began to break bread, they realized who he was. This stranger was Jesus. Isn't that a great story? I love it for a couple of reasons. First, our risen Lord chose to walk alongside these two men, empathizing with their sorrows and sharing a meal. And second, even though he already pointed to the prophets many times before, Jesus took the time to patiently reveal how each passage of Scripture pointed to him as its fulfillment. That's just the type of Lord he is. And while it might be difficult to get an audience with the king of rock and roll, for those who seek him, Jesus Christ, the king of kings, is alive and never more than a prayer away. I'm Joseph Tkach, speaking of life.